Okay, so now let's say we're going to present this. Now, this is gonna be kind of hard for me to show you here in my computer because how the computer looks is a little bit different than how it looks when you're connected up to the projector uh, or a big TV in your classroom to present. So just bear with me here. So, so we've got our presentation, it's ready to go. We've rehearsed it at home, we're really good. And now we're ready to, for the big day of presenting to our class. So just go ahead and get to the very first slide and up here to present, uh, pull down the menu and we want uh, presenter view. Okay, so we want to speak to the audience <clears throat> and we wanna be able to see um, our speaker notes here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. It opens up this new window here and the window back here is what we'd be, uh, would be, I can't speak this morning. The window here is what you're gonna see on the projector. This is what you're going to see on your laptop. Okay, so only you should usually see the screen of your laptop in a classroom so that you can look at your notes and, and things like that. And of course, uh, you're gonna see this slide here as well as what's next and what was the previous slide and just hitting space bar on your keyboard will advance the slides uh, through the presentation. So if I was giving this, so bear with me, I, we're gonna block the big presenta presentation. So you just kind of really watch here to see what the whole class is gonna be seeing. So if I was presenting, I'd be like, hello everyone, my name is Brad Flickinger. I'd like to talk to you today about volcanoes. And as part of my presentation, I'm going to be doing two parts. The first part is types of volcanoes. And this one comes, yeah, now I stumbled on my words again. <clears throat> this one coming up is one called the uh, cinder cone volcano. And as you can see from this one, these are volcanoes formed from particles and blobs of lava ejected from a single vent at the top. And they generally don't get taller than around a thousand feet. So you see how I read that to my audience right here. I read my notes uh, to the audience, but they don't see it. We didn't go and put that on the screen. Okay. They don't need to see that. They just need to know about things. And that's why this is a cool way to present. Okay. And we go to the next one here and you can see the composite volcano. Uh, these volcanoes are also shaped like a cone, but they are formed from layers of lava over many years and they can grow into huge mountains over 8,000 feet tall from their base. Look at how beautiful these images are. People are going to love this. And then like this one, shield volcanoes, they form uh, wide, thin layers of lava that eventually are shaped like a shield. Are you getting kind of how this, this works? So you see this, you know, this stuff here and they see this. Also, you can see how long you've been presenting for. So if your teacher says, hey, you've got three minutes to present, you know, you can see we've already burned through two minutes of it, but that is how to present um, this. Now I can stop the presentation by just closing this window here and then pressing escape on my keyboard and that will get me back to this one here. Now, as far as it comes to things like uh, sharing your document right up here, we covered that in Google Docs. So it shares the exact same way. You can make comments on it. You can have uh, 14 people working on the same presentation if you want. Just make sure to assign each person a slide. And sometimes you might want to put a little text box on each slide and say who's assigned which slide. I, we didn't really cover it, but you guys know how to resize photos if you want to. I, I very rarely will resize a photo. I mostly will trust that um, the Google template is putting them in in the right way. So essentially that is um, the presentation.